I recently got an email from a listener of the podcast asking about my thoughts on best practices, specifically about best practices and in innovation. Now when you think about it, it's a little bit of an oxymoron. Back when I was in my consulting days back at Computer Sciences Corporation, we basically sold the whole concept of best practices. We would take all the lessons learned that we learned from other clients, bundle it all up, and sell to other clients as kind of the best way to do things within your industry. The problem with best practices is, is that it drives conformity. Every company in that industry that adopts those best practices doesn't become really the best in their industry. They become like all the others. Average. And who wants to be average? Kind of reminds me of the movie The Incredibles with Dash. Now, The Incredibles, family, superpowers, Dash could run very, very fast. And the problem was is he wanted to try out for sports, but his parents were like, no, 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 because you'll show up all of the other kids. And in this conversation with Dash and his mom, his mom says, now Dash, remember, everybody is special. Dash contemplates, looks back at his mom and says, but mom, if everybody is special, then nobody is special. In this world, in the highly competitive markets, it's all about standing out. It's all about differentiation. Whether you're a business trying to drive change in order to take a, a lead in your industry, or if you're an individual. In a recent study of 1,600 top CEOs, they were asked, what is the number one criteria that you're using for hiring these days? You know what the number one criteria was? Creativity. CEOs are looking for those individuals who can come in and bring that creative spark into the organization. That's what's needed these days. It's not about being average. Look, we grew up being trying to be average in our classrooms, right? We were growing up. We all wanted to look the same, we wanted to dress the same. You didn't want to stand out because if you stood out, that meant that you were going to get picked on. In the world of creativity, it's about standing out. It's about having a voice. It's about having an opinion. It's about bringing the all of you to whatever the problem it is you're facing. In today's world, it's it, it, it average basically puts you into the middle of the pool. And given the shift from this information knowledge economy to this creative economy, your ability to stand out with your personal creativity is absolutely crucial for your long-term career success. So what should you do? The key here is, is about fear. We all are hesitant. Just as in school, maybe we didn't raise our hands, or maybe we didn't make a statement out of opinion that we had. In the case of today's world, it is about taking those risks, doing things that you're not comfortable with. Look, six years ago, I took a, a, a giant leap in starting this podcast. I had no idea where this was going to lead. Believe me, six years later, uh, I am much better for it. One, from the, from the comments and the feedback and the questions and the support that you as viewers of the, the podcast have given me, but it's also caused me to stretch. It's caused me to, to reach into areas that I hadn't uh, been involved in before or ever try things, you know, doing audio and now shooting video for the podcast. It's about finding those avenues that you can go out and get out of your comfort zone, try something new, try something different. It's like the advice I give college students who who call me up or send me an email asking about what should they do for their, for their advanced degrees. Should they go ahead and get their MBA? The advice I give them is, is do something different. If your degree, let's say bachelor's degree is in engineering, my advice to those students is go get a master's of fine arts. Get an MFA. That forces your left brain and your right brain, stretches you creatively. Pick up a hobby, whether it be photography or whether it be uh, being in a band. Do something that allows you to experience the, the, that, that release that you get when you come up with something totally new that's never been heard before or never been invented before and put that out there for the people to respond to. Don't be fearful. Don't sit back and wait. The challenge here is, is don't let your current processes or your current approaches dictate your path forward. You can change, whether it's you as an individual or you changing your individual organization and helping them change. You know, many organizations just want to plod through doing the same thing the same old way every day. It's, it's basically doing the obvious next step. To be different, to stand out, to win in the, in the marketplace that's out there today, ignore the obvious. Don't do what everybody else is doing. Do something different and reach into yourself, find that creative spark, 
and let it be seen by other people. Reach out, do something, show off something, get, get into, involved in an area that you have never been involved in in the past. But again, the key here is, is ignore the obvious. Step off the path and do something different.